Welcome to the CAT Office Training Guide Series for F.Civil 3D. Hello, my name is Mike Rocca and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I will be going through the F.Civil 3D Drainage Training Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we will start with Chapter 5, Surface Analysis for Inlet Placement. Let's begin. In this chapter, you will mark the location of low areas in a closed drawing system with circles. You will learn how to recognize high and low areas with the help of surface styles, then apply best practices for choosing possible inlet placement. The marked locations are a preliminary step in choosing inlet placements and serve as a guide when laying out a pipe network using Civil 3D. Marking locations with circles is a simplified and quick way to visually indicate better choices for inlet placement without getting distracted by the steps required in pipe network creation. In this chapter, we'll learn about applying common sense rule of thumb and a technique offering speed and flexibility for inlet placement. Run the chapter 5.exe file and restore all files to the C Civil 3D Projects folder. Do not change the location in which the project files are installed. Doing so can cause errors when completing the exercises in this training manual. After starting the F.Civil 3D State Kit and, with, and from the Select File dialog box, navigate to the C Civil 3D Projects 2204955201 drainage folder and open the drmprd01.dwg file. Next, we're going to XREF the drawing water drop into our drawing, bind it to our drawing so it's no longer an XREF, and then we're going to explode it. To do that, go to the Insert ribbon, go to the Reference panel, click on the arrow on the bottom right hand corner to bring up the External Reference dialog box. On the top left hand corner, click the Attach option and choose Attach Drawing. Make sure that in the project you're in the Drainage folder and select waterdrop.dwg and click open. In the attach external reference dialog box, make sure that everything is unchecked and click OK. If you notice in the background, you'll see the water drop drawing is now attached to this file. You will also see it show up in the list for external references. Next, select the water drop in the list, right click and choose bind. For bind type, choose bind and click OK. Notice that the drawing is no longer XREFed into this file, it is now part of the drawing. Next, what we want to do is explode the drawing so it becomes individual objects, not one complete block. If you hover cursor over the water drop, you can see how everything in that drawing highlights. Type in the explode command. At the command prompt, it says to select objects. Select the water drop objects and then press enter. Now when you hover your cursor over the water drop, it is now individual objects in the drawing. For the external reference panel, on the top left hand corner, click on the X to close it out. Exercise 5.2. Mark locations of proposed drainage inlet structures. In this process, you will mark the location of proposed drainage inlet structures using circles. This is a suggested procedure, not a requirement. The guidelines for placement, the guidelines for inlet placements, low points in the gutter, upstreams of pedestrian crosswalks, upstream of curb returns, prior to the flat points of sewer elevation transitions, outside of driveway turnouts where needed to limit spread. The diameter of the circles you see can help you gradually click the inlet placements at a desired separation between structures. The circles are simply guides to provide a sense of scale as you click inlet locations. From the Home tab on the Draw panel, 
Click the Circle Command drop-down list and select Center Radius. On the command line, you are instructed to specify center point for a circle. Hover over a polyline on the drain alert underscore px later that we created in the previous step. Notice where the downstream end of the polyline is located. Hover over a polyline on the drain alert underscore px layer that we created in the previous step to highlight it. Notice where the downstream end of the polyline is located. Hover over the end of the polyline and the endpoint tooltip displays. Left click to place the center of the circle at the endpoint of the polyline. The command line now prompts you to specify the radius of the circle. Type 30 and press enter. Observe a sag inlet condition where the flow direction arrows are pointed towards each other. This indicates a low point in the terrain model where water will accumulate. Before moving on to the next process, click on the inlet placement circles created in the previous step and press delete. Exercise 5.3 Insert Inlet Placement .dwg. The next steps will show you how to insert the inlet placement .dwg file using the block insert command. A file named inlet placement .dwg has been created for you. The inlet placement.dwg contains the completed inlet placement circles. You'll use these inlet placement circles to aid in the placement of the inlets using an AutoCAD center object snap. This will help in making the chapter exercise results repeatable throughout the manual. On the command line, type I for insert. On the Libraries tab on the top right hand corner, click the Libraries icon. In the Drainage folder, select Inlet Placement.dwg and click Open. Select the Place Inlet Placement icon on the bottom right on the bottom corner of the Insert dialog box. Click Explode. Right click and choose Insert. Insert using the Geographic Data option. And you now have your inlet placements drawing inserted into the file. Also, they're exploded when you click on them. Zoom and pan to display the results of the inserting the inlet placement drawing. Finally, save and close the drmprd01.dwg file.